What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for Heart of Thursday. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use Darktable with the raw files and how to change the season within a picture. Before we start, let me explain. You've got JPEG, which is the most common used file format. And then you have RAW, which is a little bit more uncommon. But RAW files let you edit your pictures way better because it preserves a lot more detail that you can basically use while doing your edit in Lightroom or in this case in Darktable. So that means you can enhance it a little bit better and the end result will be better than the end result generated from the camera in a JPEG file. So let's go to the computer and show you guys what I mean. What you first need to do before we can start is download yourself Darktable. You can find it on the website which is www.darktable.org and then you choose how to install it on your system. You choose your operating system which for the most of us will be Windows and then you download the latest Windows installer for Darktable. Uh, run the installer, install it anywhere you like and then when that's done you move over to your file uh, you see four files over here or basically these are six but these two are project files so these two are jpegs and these two are uh, raw files this one's from nikon which you can't open with uh, windows photos because it's a dot naf and this one is a dot cr2 so what you need to do is right mouse button open with and then dark table and this is the original image so what we have to do is we need to change this green color into something a little bit more fall like and how we are going to do that is by going to the colors menu and then you need to have the color lookup table if you don't see it over here please go to other modules and then scroll through the list to find yourself the color lookup table and what we're going to do afterwards is um, change all of this. So what I'm going to do right now firstly is we are going to white balance and then we are going to choose clouded and then it adjusts the white balance itself and what I want to do as well is I think it's a little bit too dark so we'll go to the let's see curve menu and usually what you do is you're making an S curve like this so you decrease the shadows a little bit and you increase the highlights but it doesn't really look very good so I'm going to undo that and right now I want to increase the highlights just a little bit to have it a little bit more lighter all right I like it like that to start with so now what we need to do is we need to change the greens in this picture. These are presets. If you want to use your own version, what you can do is you can use this uh, and select whatever you like. And then it's going to adjust the color based on that. Let's just zoom in a little bit uh, and then make it a little bit smaller. And then hit the shift button, click over there and now if you switch this to let's say a little bit more reddish this is too much there we go it's going to change everything in this picture that has this color of green in it i don't really like how this looks so i'm going to delete this layer with right mouse button and now it's gone it's going back to the original state and i'm going to use the preset green because i think it resembles the green that's inside this picture and what we're going to do now is we're going to make this a little bit more red maybe 11 increase the saturation a little bit there we go sometimes it takes a little while because uh, it's heavy on the computer and it's a heavy program but once it works it's pretty fine now it's a little bit too yellow for me so I'm going to decrease the saturation and what you need to do right now is every time you adjust something, something else gets adjusted as well. So you have to find a nice balance for the colors and everything. Um, I think 18 is still a little bit too much. 15 is a little bit better. 
Now I want to decrease the yellows a little bit. There we go. Now it looks a little bit more fall-like because this is the original image. And now it looks a little bit more like this. Um, and what we're going to do right now is we are going to adjust the sky a little bit, make it a little bit more blue. So we're going to use this, go over there. And then it selects the gray. And then I'm going to turn it into a little bit more blue-like. There we go. And this completely changes how the image looks and how you interpret the image. Uh, and now what we need to do is we need to add some contrast and work with the midtones a little bit. So this is the curve menu. You need the local contrast. It's in the same menu. If you don't see it, please go to other modules, scroll through them and then pick it and then it, it'll turn up over here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the detail level up to about 182. There we go. And now everything pops a little bit more. Uh, you can see the detail very nicely. Uh, I like it like that. It's, uh, it's a certain filter like image that it creates. I'm going to preserve the highlights by taking them down to about 80, 79, 80%, 79. And as you can see, the sky has just switched a little bit. Look, if I increase it, the sky becomes a lot brighter. And now I'm going to decrease it and the sky becomes a little bit darker. Please wait for the image to load completely. It's at loading over here uh, before you make any further adjustments. And I'm going to change the midtone area to about 250, 0.250 to make that pop a little bit more as well. Um, I like it like this. This gives it a, more, a nice fall-like feeling. Uh, this is a summer-like feeling. Uh, the image takes a little bit too low, but there we go. This is the original image. It's the raw file, or it's a JPEG file, I'm sorry. Uh, as you can see, the details are here in the bricks and in the railing. And then the water is nice and detailed because I shot this in a uh, high shutter speed. So there's no uh, motion blur or whatever. And this looks completely different. Um, so it looks like you went to the same place in a different time of the year. Uh, and it's a very cool effect that you can use in Darktable or that you can use Darktable for. Now, if you're done with your picture and you want to export your picture, all you gotta do is go to the library and then hit selection export, pick JPEG, and then everything works uh, and then it, it'll, be, it'll be saved on the location that you want it to be saved and that's basically it and that my friends is how you edit the picture from one season to another season using Darktable I hope you guys liked it so I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say as always which is make love to that like button consider subscribing if you like what you saw hit the bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video and until next time doei